Garrett Blevins here to talk to you about Chapter 3, Practical Programming for Strength Training. Today we're going to talk about strength and power. Strength is the ability of a muscle to exert force against an external resistance through that muscle's attachment to a skeletal structure. Power is the ability to display strength quickly. And here's an example of what I mean. Take a 308 uh, pound lifter who can deadlift 300 kilograms and who can snatch half that, 150 kilograms. Um, these are just random numbers to give you a point. It takes four seconds for them to finish that deadlift. The deadlift can go slow and you can grind it out. And the deadlift, uh, the distance from the floor to walk out is 0.65 meters. Uh, the snatch has to be completed much faster. There's no way to grind the snatch out. You just have to complete the lift. Same with the clean and jerk. These are things that you have to do quickly where you bring the bar to its racked position. Uh, as fast as possible. You can't go slow or you miss the lift because you're going to have to press instead of catching the weight in a racked position. Uh, so the snatch takes 0.65 seconds and moves a distance of 1.27 meters. So the work done is determined by the force, which here would be the weight, uh, the force times gravity times distance. And power is determined by the amount of work you do divided by time. Therefore, your power is going to be much greater if you divide by a smaller amount of time. Um, and so, for these two, I'm not going to run all the math out for you, but the deadlift produces 477.75 watts. That's watts is what you're going to uh, determine power in. And this snatch 3,111.5 watts. As you can see, the snatch is in the thousands, the deadlift is in the hundreds. However, the weight for the deadlift was much heavier. The reason why this is true is that power is always going to be higher with submaximal weights because the amount of time necessary to complete the lift is going to be far less. Even though the weight is half, the time is much less than half. Um, it's not like this is 152 seconds, it's 150.65, and that's going to make a huge difference. Additionally, the distance is greater in this power movement, even though the time is left, and so the distance here with the lower time creates a big difference in your final power output. What does all this mean? What this means is that power exercises are less like absolute strength movements than they are like power exercises. Something like a snatch that's done with submaximal weight when compared to a deadlift is not going to build your deadlift. Doing a heavy snatch isn't going to up your one rep max on deadlift optimally. I'm not saying that it won't help, I'm just saying that it's not the optimal way to build your one rep max for maximal strength. Now for maximum power, absolutely the snatch is going to be a great option because you're training your muscles to fire quickly and to the neurons in your muscles, as your brain tells them to fire, they're going to fire fast and all together in fluid motion. This is not absolutely necessary though for strength sports like powerlifting. It's not that it's not important, but it's not absolutely necessary. In fact, working with weights that are heavier which are going to therefore take longer to complete the lift, are going to be more optimal for building absolute strength. And that's why, as important as the power clean in the snatch is for power production, it's not so important for the ironically named power lifting, because power lifting is actually a measure of absolute or maximal strength. And so you can grind out reps in power lifting. Now that doesn't mean it's a good idea to completely remove power work from your program to get strength. Um, power is important. I personally, uh, I did Olympic lifting. The first lifting competition I ever competed in was an Olympic lifting competition in high school. Um, I didn't even know power, what power lifting was at that time, but I did Olympic lifting for sports. And in sports, you're not gonna have a lot of time where you get 10 seconds or something, five seconds to actually do something, maybe linemen in football or something like that. But in a running back, if you ask, what does a running back need to focus on, power or strength? Well, the answer is, well, they need to be more powerful. That's more like their sport. However, think about this. 
the more maximal strength you have, the more power you can produce. And here's what I mean. So let's say you had 355, 50 kilogram, 350 kilogram deadlift, and you had 175 kilogram snatch because you were just a stronger individual. Now notice, increasing your deadlift by 50 pounds might only help your snatch maybe 25 kilograms. So imagine though if you run this number through here and you still complete the lift in 0.65 seconds and it's still 1.27 meters, your power output is going to be drastically higher. And so you've increased your ability to display power by working on absolute strength. It's only when you get to the edge of the curves where you're getting into extremely maximal strength. Uh, if you have a running back, would it be optimal for them to put in a lot of effort to take their deadlift from 700 pounds to 710 pounds, you know, a 10 pound PR? Well, in powerlifting, that might be really important. Getting an extra 10 pounds on your total can be a big deal. But as far as the translation between 700 and 710 on a football field, it, that's going to be negligible. You're not going to notice that. But if you can increase that athlete's um, ability to sprint or their ability to read defenses, let's say, should you be in the weight room or should you be in the film room if the athlete has already achieved very high levels of maximum strength? Well, that's when you have to become sport specific. Now, as you know, I power lift it, so my concern is always with how can I make my maximal strength higher. I don't really care about power, but as I make my maximal strength higher, my power output and the ability to generate power also increases because my proficiency with submaximal weights is going to scale with my proficiency with maximal weights. And so that's why power and strength are related. They're not the same thing. And depending on what you're doing, you may want to focus on one and not the other.